Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast Radio. Well, New Frontiers has developed a formidable reputation for helping entrepreneurs in the Southeast region to maximise the growth potential from their business ideas. Gemma Purcell, the New Frontiers Programme Manager with IT Carlo, joins me now to discuss the supports that are available to participants. Gemma, I know that you're a proud Wexford woman, but what else can you tell us about your own background? Hi, Carl. Yes, I am a proud Wexford woman. I'm from Glunclody, um, but I currently live in Carlow. And my background, Carl, is actually in design. I studied an NCAD, um, industrial design. Um, but more recently, I went on to do an MBA in IT Carlow. I have over 10 years' experience working for large retailers in design management and innovation management. And more recently, worked for the Technology Gateway in Carlow in business development helping companies of all sizes with new opportunities and creating innovation strategies and product and service development. That sounds like a very interesting role. Provide us with an insight into that. So, Carol, um, I, at the moment I work as the New Frontiers Manager um, for the Eric Centre in IT Carlow. So in that role, I help to support entrepreneurs develop their new ideas. So they often come to us with different ideas or they're in the early stage with their businesses and they want help to de- develop their business further. So what I do is I help them through the actual New Frontiers programme itself. What is New Frontiers all about? Okay, well, New Frontiers is actually a national programme. So it's run in regions all around Ireland in 16 different institutes and universities. But it's also run here in IT Carlo and with our partner in uh, Waterford IT. Uh, We run it as a a consortium. And really what it is, it's it's about helping individuals to bring their business idea from a concept to a successful startup with an investor-ready business plan. So really we're there as support for companies. And um, I suppose a key benefit of the New Frontiers programme is that it is supported by Enterprise Ireland. There is a tax-free stipend with no equity taken. So it's a very good support, financial support package for companies. And they get access to a mentor network in Enterprise Ireland. They get access to a free co-working space in the Eric Centre in Monte Carlo or Arc Labs in Waterford. And they really get expert help and guidance throughout a six-month intensive programme on phase two. So Gemma, what financial supports are provided to the entrepreneur during the New Frontiers programme? And what is the time commitment required weekly and over what period? There's three different phases to New Frontiers. So when a company looks to go on New Frontiers, um, phase one is a part-time commitment over four to six weeks. And really, during that time, we're helping individuals to research and test their idea to see is there potential to go any further. Phase two is uh, an intensive six-month program, Carl, and that's where really it's a full-time commitment where companies commit themselves to their idea and really what we're looking for in that time period is helping the companies develop and validate their business proposition. So really, as I talked about earlier, it's taking them to an investor-ready proposition, helping them to launch their idea onto the market. And it's a much more competitive selection process. So really on phase two, we only have um, nine places in Carlow and 10 places in Waterford. But it's a very, very um, beneficial package because there's a 15,000 euro stipend, which is obviously tax-free, and it really helps them financially throughout that six months to be able to give up their full-time job to work on their new idea. And then following on from phase two, um, any participants on phase two can actually apply for what's called phase three. And really that's about getting further mentoring support from Enterprise Ireland and helping those companies implement their business plan. So they can actually continue to work within the um, Eric Centre, within the hot testing space and helping them to bring their product and service to the market. Specifically, is the New Frontiers programme targeted at businesses in specific sectors? And that's the beauty of New Frontiers, really. It's open to businesses of all sectors. So we don't, um, we don't uh, narrow it down to one sector. They can be from anything from ag tech through to food, engineering, biotech, life science, you name it, Carol. Really, it's open to all sectors. And what's really helpful is um, for the companies who go on to New Frontiers, we get to sort of a diverse group of people. That it's really good networking opportunity for those people on New Frontiers 
to learn from people from other sectors what they're doing in their business and how, they, what, how they're approaching different ideas and um, also just helping to network. And it's a really good way of learning from different sectors as well. And Gemma, what is involved in the application process and are there any eligibility criteria that applicants must satisfy? The um, application process for phase one and phase two, there's an application form. And really, um, in that, what we ask in phase one, it's, it's a simple application form. Um, I suppose we're, we're just checking that they have, um, obviously, a business idea. It's, it's, a much, um, it's not a very comprehensive form. But phase two, obviously, is a much more um, competitive selection process. So phase two, we do ask them to fill in an application form. We do then um, actually have a panel who assess those applications and we narrow down those applications to an interview process. But what we do look for is a full-time commitment. So what we're really looking for is for companies who have um, business ideas that have the potential to scale and to grow internationally. And that's really key. And to create employment in the future in the Southeast region. And once the business idea has been stress tested, how are the entrepreneurs themselves supported in developing the business plan? Well, a key support in developing your business plan. So, yes, whilst we host a number of different workshops and masterclasses, I think a key support in that is their mentor, to be honest, Carol. They de- we, we matched them with a mentor from the Enterprise Ireland Network early on. And that mentor um, actually won five different sessions with them over the period of six months. And that's the person who they can go to then to talk about any pain points they may have, any challenges they have whilst going through all the different areas um, in the six months. So I think um, the, the mentor relationship is, is key and that mentoring is really, is really um, important in the six months um, and at the end of that, they really, we also host an investor ready panel. So, towards the end of the six months, we actually, um, each participant goes in front of a panel from Enterprise Ireland and they pitch their idea and they look for investment. It's just a kind of a, I suppose it's a, a run through of what could happen in real life. And it really gives them, an, a, I suppose, an opportunity to get feedback on their plan. And the final stage of New Frontiers is implementing that business plan. So typically, this is where the rubber hits the road. It's where the idea actually becomes a reality. But how does Mm -hmm. New Frontiers approach this critical stage? Well, we talked earlier about um, any business that comes in. Obviously, we're very much at the early stage, helping them develop their idea and test it and getting it to a point where it's ready to implement. Um, In that phase three, implementing the business plan, what we're looking for is that extra um, guidance and support um, from their mentor in that three months' time. And really, um, what I talked about earlier is that a company, I suppose it's, it's also the, re- the, realis- the realism that a company, it can take a lot longer than six to 12 months for a company to launch and implement and get, um, I suppose, become successful. So it's about um, helping them along that journey in the final three months. The New Frontiers programme has alumni who are now actively growing their businesses both at home here in Ireland and overseas. Will some of the past participants be on hand to impart some valuable advice and share some of their war stories? <laughs> Absolutely, Carol. That's key really what, to what we do in our phase one and phase two. We bring on past participants um, and, and as you said, the war stories. There, it, it's a touch of realism, but also... It's a great network. We find entrepreneurs are really good at supporting entrepreneurs and they're really good at giving up their time because they've gone through that journey. They've experienced different pain points and if they can help at all, they do like to help other entrepreneurs. In the past, we've had um, the likes of Very, we've had um, Sea Golf, uh, Microgen Biotech, um, just to name some companies who've gone back in and talked to our past participants. And Gemma, you did mention that this is a joint partnership, a consortium with yourselves and IT Carlo and Waterford Institute of Technology. You're both recruiting the next generation of entrepreneurs to the New Frontiers programme, but your start dates for the programme differ. So give us an insight into the application deadlines and the start dates for both ITs and then again how entrepreneurs can apply. We run the programme at different times so that at any one stage, there's always either a phase one open or a phase two that entrepreneurs can apply for in the southeast region. Our next phase one will be January of next year and our next phase two um, application dates will be May of next year, starting in June, July next year. 
so, uh, so we've currently recruited. And Waterford are starting their next phase one in September of this year and they are recruiting for their next phase two in November, December of this year. So um, that's where we are at the moment. And in terms of applying and looking for applications, there's actually a New Frontiers website in which you can find about upcoming deadlines and events. So it's um, newfrontiers.ie. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Gemma Purcell, the New Frontiers Programme Manager with IT Carlo. And if you have a business idea, get in touch with IT Carlo or WIT and bring that idea to market. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick.